Hey guys, what's going on? So I got some uh, horror movie prism sticker cards here to show you. We got Motel Hell. We got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Psycho 2. Creep Show. And this one's not really horror, but um, Ro Robocop. Still a uh, cult classic nonetheless. Anyway, guys, um, I want to do a little bit of a review here. Um, not only on the cards, but tell you a little story. You know, um, so this is kind of an update to the video I did last uh, a couple weeks ago on uh, whether horror movie cards are coming back around or coming back out if there's a company out there that's making them and guys I um, I did some research and I found out there is a company uh, at least one of that I know of that are starting to make uh, remake these um, again um, sadly these are um, remade they're still prism cards and they're stickers um, just like the old retro vending machines uh, would dispense, but they're not vintage guys. They are they're new, um, which kind of leads me to my little story here. Um, I was doing my, you know, my weekly search on horror movie prism cards on eBay, and guys, I claim in other videos that um, I collected every variant every horror movie prism sticker card that was ever you know every one different one that was ever made um i got two large three large uh frames with the cards um inside and displayed um you guys can look at the videos if you never saw them before uh, but i claim to have them all now i i don't know for sure I mean, I've been surprised before. I thought I had them all, and then I'd see one pop up that, you know, that I didn't have, that I didn't even know about. That's the case with these guys. I thought these were cards that I just never saw before, or out of the few years that I've been researching and looking at the different variants and all. I thought, wow, you know, here's a, a lot someone's selling on eBay that, um, you know, I've never seen these cards before, these sticker cards. And, um, you know, they're definitely something I want to get in my frame. So, what I did, guys, I got into a bidding war with uh, a couple other people. Because uh, the, the, the listing was for all five of these cards. Got into a bidding war and uh, paid a good, good amount of money for them. I won the bidding, or uh, the auction. And, um... They arrived at the house the other day. And guys, I was blown away. I'm looking at them and I'm like, wow, you know, these are just so cool. They're they would they're gonna go great in my uh in my display frame with the rest of them. Well, I decided to actually take a few of the names here, like Motel Hell and you know, you know, Texas Chainsaw Master or Psycho 2 and kinda put in the search engine I did some research um, and I it actually brought me back to a website um, called hold on, I wrote it down here hold on guys bear with me retro picture show .com. so I visited this site and sure enough this site sells these cards they're remakes they're not the vintage ones from the vending machines back in the early, uh, late 80s early 90s these are fresh, right out of the, right out of the you know assembly line, so to speak. Um, they're 2017. I mean, these are don't get any newer than that. So, guys, as you can kind of imagine, I was a little, little taken back, a little pissed off for the fact that you know I paid a good amount of money for these, and they sell them on this website for, I think I, I think it was five dollars a piece. Um, so right here, this would be $25, and I paid, you know, well over that on eBay. I can't fault the seller because, you know, I, I willfully bid on the item on the auction. Um, it's my fault 
that I didn't do the proper research ahead of time and it's a chance that I took and I came out on the losing end of the chance don't get me wrong guys they're still very cool very cool cards I like them all I'm gonna keep them I'm just not going to put them in the, the display frames with the rest of the um, vintage horror movie prism cards they just to me it just doesn't they just don't fit it's like you don't mix the new with the old you don't mix the new with the classics um, I gotta keep them all together and I'll you know put these in a separate you know folder or something like that um, because they are they're horror cards you know and um, I like them but they just won't go with my particular collection I just I can't I can't put them put them in there I just don't I, I don't uh you know I don't feel comfortable putting them in with the rest of the uh, vintage cards um, but so the good news is guys that at least I'm able to you know show you guys other collectors that you know so you don't do the same thing I did um, if you see these pop up on any collector sites or, or you know eBay something like that, just know that you can jump on over to this other website and um, buy them for five dollars a piece. So you know don't overpay. Now on the website, I do know that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre card is sold out, and I think I want to say Motel Hell is sold out also. Um, but that just goes to show, just because they're sold out right now doesn't mean they can't make more of them and then put them back out there. Um, so be careful. Don't overpay. They are cool cards. Don't get me wrong. If you come across them, you know, just you know, be reasonable with it. And then um, the other thing is, guys, um, yeah, they're, they're coming back out again. So that's very cool um, just to know that, you know, you know it's full circle here we're you know they're starting to reproduce these and sell them again different companies um <clears throat> but yeah that's pretty much all i have for you today uh, no that's about it so you know guys uh just be careful out there you know do your research before you purchase anything uh, you know not just it doesn't just go for these cards but anything that you're you know purchasing uh, from the private you know sector um, just do your research that way you don't get caught overpaying for something that you know you shouldn't have to um, and that's it that's all I got for you guys for right now um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time